Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. As Harry and Meghan's brutal bombshell fails miserably, Sussexes have a bitter pill to swallow. After a new rating has suggested that their popularity has plummeted not just in the UK, but in the US as well. Thus, Karma has taken a brutal revenge on disgusting Harry and Meghan as after their several vicious attacks on royal family, it has now been proven to be more harmful for them adversely in terms of popularity. Well, I am not saying that their attacks didn't affect royals at all, as an Ipsos Mori poll this week reveals both the Prince and Princess of Wales' popularity in the UK has also fallen. Williams by 8 percentage points and Kate's by 7. But a Newsweek poll suggests that as much as Spare has damaged the royal family, it may not have helped Harry and Meghan themselves, with their US popularity dropping from plus 38 and plus 23 to minus 7 and minus 13 respectively. Only a man as stupid and narcissistic as Harry could ever have believed his vengeance would endear him to anyone. And surprisingly to the Sussex, it has now spectacularly backfired to the most disastrous level of all time. On the other side, Meghan is now less liked in the States than Queen Camilla, a devastating verdict given that Americans canonized Princess Diana and demonized the mistress who destroyed her marriage. But it gets even worse. Not only is Meghan more likely to be viewed negatively than positively today by other women, but the couple's approval rating has also fallen among the 18 to 24 year olds to whom they most pander. I mean, even snowflakes don't like people who freeze out their own families. In spare, Harry not only lifts the lid on what life is really like within the monarchy, but takes aim at Prince William, claiming his brother physically attacked him in a heated altercation. The book has also landed the Duke in hot water after he claimed to have killed 25 people while on duty in Afghanistan, with the Iron Foreign Ministry officially accusing him of war crimes. It comes after royal commentator Annabelle Sanderson took aim at Harry this week, telling Sky News Australia his tell-all memoir, should be called whinge instead of spare. The royal expert told Weekend Edition that Prince Harry's own popularity is nosediving in the UK because nobody likes a winger, adding, it's poor me, I am so rich, I'm unemployable, and I've got a life of privilege. It doesn't add up. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.